With six critics are blasting a series of racially charged instant messages that we uncovered between a National Veterans Affairs director and her subordinate. They both work here in the metro area. Channel 2's investigative reporter Aaron Diamond is live in DeKalb County. And Aaron, you spent the day running down your sources tip. At Jovita, just this morning, our source gave us copies of these troubled exchanges from inside this building. Now the agency is scrambling for answers. It's completely unacceptable. An emphatic assessment from Emory University Center for Ethics Director Edward McQueen over a series of racially charged exchanges between a Department of Veterans Affairs National Office Director and her subordinate. It suggests something deeper and more disturbing. That, that I think really needs to be attended to. VA's embattled Health Eligibility Center in DeKalb County oversees the health care enrollment process for millions of American veterans. Through a source, we obtained a copy of electronic messages from January between Center Director Angel Lawrence and staffer Nathan Jaco, in which Jaco declares, when I become emperor, the parasitic class will be purged into the ovens, a potential reference to the fate of Holocaust victims at the hands of the Nazis. Lawrence replies, oh my, take that back, to which Jaco says, Take what back? Lawrence responds, the whole oven thing. Jaco follows up with, that's where you draw the line? You really don't need to hang out with me then. That's mild. Lawrence's answer, I just howled out loud laughing. To suggest that, that you're going to burn human beings um, ought not to kind of fall within the acceptable range of, of discourse, particularly within a governmental office. The center Lawrence leads has been the target of several investigations by the VA's Inspector General, which over the last few years have documented mismanagement, bad oversight and system breakdowns that may have delayed or denied health care for American vets, including hundreds of thousands with pending applications. Still, last November, as Lawrence and Jaco lamented the center's challenges, Lawrence messaged, again, is it too early to drink? Jaco answered, nope, not if you're Irish. Lawrence replied, thank baby Jesus, and lucky me, I am Irish. Jaco response so you can drink get into some fist fights then Lawrence do I look like the kind that gets into fist fights ha 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 Jaco you people are so predictable that's what an Irish would try to say Lawrence shot back LMAO and for Edward Queen this really serves to undermine the real um, the work of the organization and undermines people's trust in the government across the board now, Nathan Jacob did not respond to our emails today, but within the last hour told our partners at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution that the conversation was meant to be private and not hateful. Meantime, he said he's a veteran uh, who served in Iraq, suffers from PTSD. Now, Angel Lawrence referred us to the agency's press secretary, who sent us an email saying VA will not tolerate inappropriate or unprofessional conversations over our IT systems, nor the waste of taxpayer dollars on non-VA business. VA is reviewing data files to determine whether this conversation, in fact, took place. The VA says, depending on what it finds, it will evaluate what it called appropriate disciplinary action. We're live in DeKalb County, Aaron Diamond, Channel 2 Action News.